this video we'll go over the basic use of TLS. First, slide the cart onto the rails. Slide the end clamp onto the rail, then tighten the top levers. Repeat for the opposite end. Align the end of the belt to the grooves on the belt clamp. Push down on the belt clamp and then tighten the small lever. Weave the belt through the pulleys as shown. Be sure to keep the belt tight during this process. Attach the belt to the opposite end clamp. Attach a camera mount to the cart. In this case, a low profile ball head and a quick release receiver. Mount the camera. Attach a second shooter controller. Connect the controller to the motor via Cat5 cable. Use the slider port. Connect the camera to the controller via intervalometer cable. Use the intervalometer port. Program the move by setting the endpoints. Select Time Lapse. Mount the optional 15mm adjustable legs by tightening the lever. Adjust the height and angle to your preference. Repeat for the opposite end. Additional 15mm rods can be added to the legs for more support options. Slide the legs into the clamps and tighten the lever. Repeat as necessary. To attach standard outrigger feet or all-terrain outrigger feet, remove the ball feet from the end blocks. Then screw the feet to the end block. Slide the tripod slash outrigger mount into the rail via the aligned T-nuts, then tighten. This can be used to mount accessories such as outrigger feet, or even a quick release plate to mount to a tripod. Slide the light stand slash C stand adapter into the rail via the aligned T nuts, then tighten. This can be used to mount to a light stand or C stand. Tighten the knob to secure. 